Ariel Helwani at Madison Square Garden in New York City alongside Papa Roy Nelson, who of course faces Czech Congo this Saturday night at UFC 159. Be proud, Papa. Five month old, right? Yes, uh, very proud. How does it feel? You know what? It's, it's you know, it, it, I can't really, it's more surreal. It's just, it's, it's one of the greatest things. In, uh, I think you just have to experience it for yourself to go, you know, to really say how much you actually love your kid. Does this change at all what you do out there, your mindset, your approach to fighting? No, it actually, I think it kind of gives me more of a relaxed uh, state of mind where you're not as tense, but it's but it makes you more ferocious. Because, you, you know, because you're kind of going out there and like trying to, you know, you're that line that got to go feed the family. I was wondering if you became a little more tame in your older age now that you're a papa, right? Because going into this fight, it's kind of flown under the radar, of course. So everyone's talking about Chael and John and... Bisping stealing the headlines. Your last fight, Ultimate Fighter, there was some stuff between you and Carwin, then Mitrione. But even then, there was some what appeared to be bad, bad blood. But now it's like Roy Nelson's not causing any controversy. There's no headlines. There's no outlandish statements. What's going on? Um, I'm fighting France, so you got to keep it PC. <laughs> okay. You don't want to cause an international incident. Incorrect. Do you believe what people say about the French? Um, what's that? You know, they, they, they've been accused of being cowards and that they, they, they you know, they, not, not, I'm not talking about Czech, but as a country that they surrender easily, you know, that kind of thing. Um, uh, hopefully on Saturday that's true. Do you think he's that kind of guy? I'm, I don't think so, but I'm hoping. Does this fight tickle your fancy? Does it tickle my fancy? Uh, any fight in the UFC always tickles my fancy. But does this get you going? Does it get your blood boiling? Are you excited about this fight? I could be like everybody else, be like, this is one of those fights I didn't even worry about. Like, I, I, it doesn't get me pumped, so I didn't really train. Like, I, I mean, we had a job. We just go out there and fight. And, and on Saturday, I'm going to go out there and put my fans on his face. But does it feel different than your last fight? Because there was so much attention coming off the show. And this time, you're, you're third from the top. You're, you're not in the main event. Does it feel different as far as the, the obligations and the, the spotlight going into it? No, it's actually kind of a, a release a little bit uh, that it, it's a little bit easier. Uh, but, you know, it's all the way out here and uh, you work. So it's more work. Right? So I'd rather actually stay in home in Vegas and um, do more uh, leg traveling and talking on the, uh, on the TV and radio and doing all that stuff. Plus, with the, um, the, 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 the flight, the toxic water, you have to cut a lot of weight now because you just flew cross-country, right? I'm sure that's a problem, right? Oh. I'm surprised that you even came to the workout. You probably would be working out to lose that weight, that, that toxic water. Yeah, but you got to, you know, with the, you, we're forced to come here to do this media stuff. Yeah. You don't want to be here. No, I, you know, I love the fans, but I don't, there's not, it's not in front of the fans. It's just media. Right. But we're sort of the, the sort of link between you and the fans. No. No? No. Twitter is a good way to break that link. And it's unbelievable. You Facebook? retweet. Facebook. You retweeted one of my things about uh, Nick Diaz and GSP, how GSP doesn't write his own tweets. And I still get replies about it. How is that possible? I have. The, the thing is, I would say that that would be a UFC fan. Okay. Because, like, UFC fans are the, the ones that actually, like, you know, call, you know, like, I'll probably get a tweet this week going, hey, when do you fight next? And you're like, Saturday. But if he's a UFC fan, shouldn't he know that? No, because they're, UFC fans are casual fans. Mm. There's MMA fans, and then there's UFC fans. It's like, oh, I saw you on the Jumbotron. When's that fight? Or I'm walking down Times Square, and I see a big poster, and go, oh, when's that? <laughs> you know, like, it's just kind of like that glimpse. It's like, oh, 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 it's on FX, or, or oh, it's on Fox. You know, they, kinda, they just kind of tune in that way. It seemed like it really. It seemed like it really bothered you that GSP didn't write his own tweets. You're a man of the people, right? I, you know, I think you gotta. I mean, as a, as a, you know, I'm trying to give back to the fans and like, like, just some type of, you know, at least some type of communication. I mean, you know how it is. I mean, who writes for you? Myself. Exactly, because it, it it comes better from the horse's mouth. When's the last time you trimmed the beard? Ah, uh, last week actually. Really? Yeah. How big of a trim is it? Um, this probably about a pound, two pounds. Really? Yeah. No, it's it, it's a good trim because I got the side shape. You know, I got I trimmed everything up. Who does it for you? My wife. She actually cuts your hair. Yeah, I can't go to like uh, super cuts or anything like that. You don't trust them? I, yeah, this is delicate. This is like gotta have that private barber. So you do everything? Yeah. Beard. Can we see the top? Yeah. Oh wow. 
Wow. <laughs> looks great right now. <laughs> looks like she did a fantastic job. She always does a fantastic job. So you trust her with your hair because a lot of men wouldn't want their wife to do that. Yeah, see, but my, my wife loves my hair so much, she keeps on saying, grow it out longer. Longer, 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 while I'm like, trim, trim, trim. It's funny, because didn't one time Dana White say that he can't imagine why someone would want to be married to someone who looks like this? Didn't he say that? Yeah, but then I think he uh, saw the um, the new Dr. Ten, um, comer- the Dr. Uh, Pepper commercials, the Bold Ten. I don't know what you're talking about. You, you, apparently you don't watch TV. No. You never Only seen Fuel TV and but FX. They, they, they ad, do that ad all the time. Oh, they do? Yeah, it's Dr. Pepper. It's the bold, you know, it's the bold tin, you know, flavor. Okay. And it's the Manly's uh, type of um, soda you can drink. What does that have to do with what we were talking it's about? Just like this. Oh, it does. Okay. All right. Or if it's trapped a Harley on me. Right. <laughs> uh, a couple more things. Uh, when I was talking to Czech Congo about your physique, he kind of uh, related you to a, a teddy bear, like someone he wants to tickle. Like you're cute. You're cuddly. I am cute. Have you seen my kid? I have not. I have oh. not the honor. Yeah, no, so I'm definitely cute, so um, cuddly? Um, does that mean he's trying to hug me? Well, I was going to ask, do you think that's a sign of things to come? Do you think he'll, you know, try to sneak in a tickle on Saturday? I, I, don't, I hope not. I mean, I, I thought he was going to probably try to do more running, but if he's going to try to hug me, that's, I'm okay with that too because, you know, as long as it's like jiu as long as you don't look in the eyes, just, you're okay. So you think he's actually going to? be like the country of France, or at least the stigma, and surrender, relent? I, no, I, I think he's just going to try to uh, point fight. Um, and then I got to try to hunt him down and try to, you know, put my hands on his face. You think you can finish him? Do I think I can finish him? I think I can finish anybody in the heavyweight division. Including the champion? Including the champion. After this, where do you go? I'm um, going home. I mean, in the division. Uh, in the division? I'm going back home and then and then watch uh, UFC 160 and see what's next. All right. Good luck to you, Roy. We look forward to it. Always a pleasure. Pleasure.